Welcome to today's video. Today I am excited because I'm going to be showing you guys 35 palettes that I have in my collection that I consider Valentine's Day themed or Valentine's Day-esque. I got palettes for the neutral lover. I got palettes for the grungy lover and palettes for the person looking for that traditional Valentine's Day look. But like I said, we have a lot of palettes to get through. So let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first time here, hi, welcome. My name is Heather Eaglin. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe, click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And if you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up at the end. So we're going to start this off with the neutral side or the neutral leaning side. I do enjoy neutral palettes, but I typically like them with a little twist, a little depth, maybe some grunginess, different kind of unique undertones. That is what I go for. So for this category, we have 10 palettes. And the first one being the oldest palette in my collection, it is the Modern Renaissance. Now, I won't be using this palette because, I, as I said, it is very old but i keep it for nostalgia reasons but this would be a perfect valentine's day palette for that person who really loves neutrals maybe you want to add a little pop of color you have the pinks and you have the mauves and this palette has beautiful shimmers it is still for sale as well it is the anastasia beverly hills for people that might not know that, but it is a gorgeous palette. As you can see, I hit pan on a ton of shades in here, but I think this one would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Another one, which is one of my favorite brands, this is the Sigma Quarter Rosa. Now this one isn't maybe traditional Valentine's Day, but if you take out these clay colored mattes, and you stick with the pinks. You even have like a rose gold shimmer here. This is a stunning palette. I really love the Sigma eyeshadow formula. And I think you could get a really beautiful Valentine's Day look out of this. Especially if you're going for that more traditional Valentine's Day like pink. But I also think you could get a really pretty neutral Valentine's Day look out of this. And maybe even add a fun pop of color to switch it up a little bit. And this one is full on neutral Valentine's Day. We have the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism. This is probably one of my most least used palettes in my collection. And it's not because it's not good. It's not something that I would typically gravitate towards. But I do really enjoy Lunar Beauty. So I picked it up. And I actually got it in BoxyCharm as well and ended up giving that one away. But this is a gorgeous formula. I think you could get some really beautiful looks out of this, especially if you're someone who enjoys a more neutral look, but you want a little like neutral pink hues. This is one of the perfect palettes for that. And I know there's going to be a lot more people who will gravitate towards this more than they might a rainbow palette. So that's why I really wanted to throw in some neutral options. And this one is my Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. This is a neutral option, but it does have a grungy twist. It has a multi-chrome down here as well. You could really get some beautiful valentine's day looks out of this you could get a lot of depth within this palette as well and i think if you have this one in your collection and you love a neutral look or a neutral grungy look you might really enjoy a look from this one this palette was released in last year this is the lunar beauty in laura lee los angeles full fantasy palette and this it would be a beautiful Valentine's Day palette as well. It's not a traditional Valentine's Day palette, but it does have these beautiful purple shades. You have this pinky purple shimmer. You could get a Valentine's Day look that is more on the grungy side, but I think it would still create a beautiful look. 
if you guys are into those types of palettes. But this is another one that is one of those unexpected palettes you could use for Valentine's Day. This is the new Nomad New Zealand palette. I do have two looks up on my channel with this palette, actually three. I will make sure those videos are linked down in the description box, but we have some beautiful shades in here that you could use to get a gorgeous look. Starting with this corner of mattes over here, you could even use this shade right here to blend out, but the shimmers in here, there are several shimmers in here that would work so beautifully for Valentine's Day. I just think you could create such a cute look with this. I already have my idea for what I plan on using for that day, but we are not there yet. I will show you when we get there. But another one is the ABH Jackie Ina palette. And I know you might be looking at this and saying that's not Valentine's Day at all. But if you take away this half of the palette, it totally is. You have reds, pinks, purples. You even have this light like champagne gold shimmer here. And I think it would be a beautiful look. And if you're like me and you love to make things a little grungy, you could just dip into one of these shades down here, add a little twist to your look. Another one that would be great because I think personally that mauves are beautiful, especially for Valentine's Day. And that is the Glam Light Chocolate Martini Palette. This palette is so much more than a neutral palette. If I'm going to go for a neutral palette, it is definitely going to be one like this, but you have these beautiful mauves. You would stay away from these clay shades, of course, but you do have some really beautiful mauves, some pretty chocolates, and some beautiful shimmers like this shade here called Extra Lit. That would really make a gorgeous look. And if you have this one in your collection, you might want to think about pulling it out. But a newer palette to me, and I also have two looks with this one on my channel as well, it is the Unearthly Cosmetics Dreamer palette. This is more of a neutral twist palette to me, but if you take away this and you just stick to this side of the palette, you could really create some freaking gorgeous Valentine's Day looks. This palette is so freaking stunning. And if you haven't seen my video, I highly recommend you check it out, but you could totally get some really beautifully unexpected Valentine's Day looks out of that one. Now let's get into some that are more Valentine's Day themed. And there's a few in here that are not, but you could still make it work. First, I have the Glam Light Cosmetics Hershey's, uh, what's it called? Lava Cake Palette. This is full on Valentine's Day. You could really get a gorgeous look out of this. This palette is freaking stunning. I got mine at TJ Maxx for like $4.99. So if you guys are interested in this, I would suggest you check out your TJ Maxx or your Marshalls. Now the next one is totally not Valentine's Day themed, but you could get some really great looks out of it. It's actually Halloween, but it is the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikivis Little Ghost Palette. I freaking love this palette. But this palette is beautiful. If you take out this blue row, these three, I mean, four shades right here, you could totally get a Valentine's Day look. Maybe not so much. To me, purples are Valentine's Day, but you could totally mix these more red leaning shades down here in with the purples and the pinks, and you could get a really pretty look out of this one. A lot of people, I feel like, myself included, are tired of the same kind of Valentine's Day palettes, uh, just only red and only pinks. Like, I want something different. I want it to look like Valentine's Day, but I want it to have parts of it that are a little unexpected. The next one being the Kaleidos Escape Pod. You could totally get a really cool Valentine's Day look out of this, especially with these three mattes up here, and a bunch of these shimmers would work for that. This palette needs a lot more love in my collection, but to be honest, this box squeaks when you open it, and it literally is like nails on the chalkboard, but it still would make a beautiful Valentine's Day look. Next is another one that is not full on Valentine's Day, but we have the Unearthly Cosmetics Get Groovy palette. This is actually still uh, available, and I'm pretty sure it's like 
highly, highly discounted. Like you could get that full collection for 50 bucks. And trust me when I tell you, you cannot freaking go wrong with that. And if you do pick it up, use my code AOML to save 10%. It is affiliated. I will have this box linked down in my description box. But look at that quad. Like you can't tell me that that would not be absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. I really love the formulas in this palette. That would create such a traditional Valentine's Day look if that is what you are into. But this is a freaking gorgeous palette. So happy to have it in my collection. Now this one is a little more traditional Valentine's Day. This is the Kleena Cosmetics Emily Violet Marie Dragon Fruit Palette. This one, outside of these two shades right here, would be a straight up beautiful Valentine's Day palette if you're looking for that more traditional vibe. I'm personally not into all shimmer palettes. I don't use this as a standalone. I use it as like a palette with other things, but this palette is gorgeous. Kleena has some of the best multichromes in my collection and I freaking love them. But next we have a palette from Cosmic Beauty. This is the Delicious Delights palette. Now I'm talking here, the two center rows, you could really create such a gorgeous look, but you know, you could go in with the pink and purple and then do a little bit of this yellow in the inner corner and you could really add something extra to this look like valentine's day look but this is a great palette for that as well i would totally use it this is an older palette in my collection it is the ace beauty nostalgia palette i got this in a boxy charm a few years back but you could totally get some beautiful valentine's day looks out of this i didn't want to just do palettes that were easy but so i threw in some things that you could get valentine's day looks out of but they are not necessarily valentine's day palettes but this palette is beautiful i love the formulas in here i've gotten a ton of use out of this palette actually there's huge dips in a bunch of these bands such a great palette and i really love this formula another one it from odin's eye is the planet spirit palette this was in collaboration with betty jean i just think you could get some beautiful valentine's day looks out of this especially with the pink the red the purple and then you got this purple shimmer and then you could even do these two it would be absolutely beautiful this is such a great freaking palette, has great formulas in it. I love Betty Jean as well on YouTube. If you guys aren't following her, you totally should be, but I think this is a perfect palette for Valentine's Day. Next, we have two palettes from Juvia's Place. It is the Berries and the Sweet Pinks. These palettes are beautiful alone, but let me tell you, they are freaking gorgeous together. I created one of my favorite all matte looks that I've done with both of these palettes together. They are so beautiful, but they work great as standalone palettes as well. You could get full looks out of these. This one is a bit more blushy and grungy. And then this one being your lighter bright pinks. These are gorgeous palettes. They're $9, which is amazing. The pans in these are really big and it's an incredible formula. I really like Juvia's Place and those are like great straight up Valentine's Day palettes. And the next one being the Glam Light Margarita. This one is totally great for Valentine's Day. This whole bottom row and half of this one. You could even add in the gold if you wanted to, but this palette is wonderful. These go on sale all the time. This little... I think it was called the drink. This was called the happy hour collection. But this is one of these four palettes that came in this collection are some of my favorites that I have. I really enjoy them, but that one would be perfect. And I have two more glam light palettes in this pile. The first one being the Barbie palette. This one is freaking perfect for Valentine's Day. Like if you just stick to this whole half of the palette, it is totally Valentine's Day. Actually, you could even do these two shades. 
you could create such a gorgeous freaking look with this palette. I know I have. I've created tons of looks out of this that I really love. It's also one of my favorite Glam Light palettes. But in all fairness, a lot of my Glam Light palettes are my favorite ones. And the next one is another Glam Light. And this one is full on Valentine's Day. It is the Icy Cherry Palette. I had a brain fart. But this is perfect for Valentine's Day. It is pink. It is red. And it's got this like deep sangria shade. Like this is truly perfect. You could create the most gorgeous look for the for Valentine's Day. If you're looking for something that, you know, is like they're going to look at you and be like, oh, yeah, she's wearing a look for Valentine's Day. Now, this is one that I'm probably going to be wearing. It is actually what is on my eyes right now. But it is the Bella Beauty Bar Dead Roses palette. I've used this several times now and I freaking love it. But this look would be beautiful for Valentine's Day. I have on the shade You Wish bl Blown Out in the Crease. I added meh to add a little more definition. And then I darkened up with single AF. And then I have this shade called Friend Zone all over the lid. And it is freaking beautiful. I feel beautiful, but obviously this was released for Valentine's Day and it is a perfect Valentine's Day palette. It is up for pre-order and if you guys want to pick it up, you can use my code AOML to save 10%. It is affiliated. I will have everything in my description box, but I do have video a video on this creating two looks and you guys can check it out too. I will also have that link. Now let's get into the grunginess. This part has my freaking heart. First, this is one of my favorite palettes that I own. It is the Unearthly Cosmetics Weirdos palette. Now this one you can no longer get, but if you already own it, then you won't have to worry about that. But this is so perfect for that person who wants something so deep and dark and grungy, but still on theme for Valentine's Day maybe an anti-Valentine's Day. I love this freaking palette. The multi-chromes in here are truly spectacular, and I just think this one is amazing. But next, I brought out the Blend Bunny Machina palette. This one I had a little issue with working with, but I think it's a me problem. Everyone loves this palette, and I'm the odd man out. It's definitely not bad by any means. I'm just not used to working with this formula, but if you love this formula, then you're going to be obsessed with this palette because it is their like usual formula. But this one would be such a beautiful Valentine's Day palette because you can see the beautiful pinks and reds and this shade down here is spectacular. I had fun playing with this palette. I love the looks that I created. For me though, it just is a little harder for me to work with because I'm not used to this type of formula. It's a bit more thin, if that makes sense. So it's a me thing. I'm a work in progress, but in all honesty, I felt completely different about this one. This is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Sugar and Grunge, and this was made for Valentine's Day. This is beautiful, especially if you want that anti-Valentine's Day or that deep, dark, grungy Valentine's Day. I had a blast working with this palette. I made a video on it, I'm pretty sure, as well. It's one of my first videos, though, so, I mean, watch it at your own risk, but this is such a great freaking palette. I had a blast with it. Same with this one. We have the Nomad Royal Europe palette. This was my first Nomad palette in years. I got one in a BoxyCharm a long time ago. It was like the Berlin and I didn't like that one, so I didn't try them out again for a very long time. And this was one of the first that I picked back up. But you know I'm going to go in for these two rows right here. They are perfect for Valentine's Day. Even this shimmer, these multi-chromes are spectacular. These mattes are so rich and pigmented and buttery and easy to blend. It is a freaking fabulous formula and would create great looks. I really love this one as well. I don't know if this one is still available. If it is, I will have it linked 
down in the description box. But this is the Bella Beauty Bar Basic Witch Palette. And see, for me, I would totally use this green in combination with the pinks and purples and create such a unexpected Valentine's Day look. I think that would be like acceptable, pretty, whatever you want to call it. But if you, even if you want to go the more traditional Valentine's Day route, you could totally get that with this. But you can also take it a little more to that grungy side or the anti Valentine's Day side. To me, when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of hearts, candy, flowers, and roses more than anything. And roses are multiple different colors, but they also have their green stem. So adding a little green never hurt anyone, which is why I wanted to include this palette. We have the Cosmic Beauty Muse palette. This palette is another one that's spectacular. If you guys have not tried the Cosmic Beauty formula, you totally have to. And the fact that these palettes are like $30 just blows me away. This is one of the best formulas that I have in my collection. I have four of her five palettes that she's released, and these are freaking incredible. I don't have a code with them, but I can try to find one, one for you guys and link it down in the description box. But I love this brand, and I think this would be such a beautiful palette for Valentine's Day, and it would also work with the neutral category as well. This one speaks to my grungy heart. We have the Crazy in Love palette by Glam Light. This was released last year on Valentine's Day. She is dark. She is smoky. She is moody. And I love a moody eyeshadow look. You can get such a vampy, sexy, smoky look out of this. I think they knocked this out of the park. And they started the new anti-Valentine's Day trend that we've seen come back this year. And I am here for it. Then next we have the Cosmic Beauty Gothic palette. This isn't traditional Valentine's Day, but you can definitely get that same smoky, sexy look from this one as well. And you will truly be pleased. This palette is spectacular. It's like a purple monochromatic palette. But in all seriousness, it is so much more than that. You can get so many different types of looks out of this. It's not one of those that is like, you know, you can only get one or two kind of looks out of it. I don't really like palettes like that. And that's a reason why I love this one so much too. This is the Glam Light Wine Palette. This is a purple monochromatic palette, but it is freaking spectacular. It's so unexpected. I really love the undertones of these shades. And you could get so many different types of looks out of this. Even if you wanted to go more traditional, you could stick with these two shades right here. And maybe put this pink purple shade on the lid. You could create such a gorgeous, stunning look with this. And on the same theme... We have the one from Bella Beauty Bar, and it was in collaboration with DeAndra Nicole. I just posted a video on this one yesterday, so check it out if you guys are interested. But this is another freaking purple palette that is so different. It's so much more than just a purple monochromatic palette. You can see by looking at these, these palettes are way different. The undertones are way different. They're both wonderful palettes. As much as I love Glam Light and I love their shimmers, the multi-chromes from Bella Beauty Bar are freaking spectacular. Glam Light hasn't dipped their toes into multi-chromes yet, but I'm really excited when they do. If you want to check out this Bella Beauty Bar palette with DeAndre Nicole, it is the Ultraviolet palette. Remember, you can use my code AOML. But these are beautiful, and I think you could create such gorgeous looks with both of them. This is a very good, affordable choice as well. And then we have one that's a little more on the grungy side. Again, it's not traditional, but it is the ColourPop Wine and Only palette. It's got them deep wine and sangria shades in here, and you could really get a 
beautiful neutral look out of this or you could really deepen it up and make it sexy and smoky and fun it is a, another great option i'm pretty sure these are like nine dollars as well i really enjoy the color pop formula they're not my favorite but they're still really good especially for the price but next is my last palette. It is the Unearthly Cosmetics Resurgence Palette. This was done in collaboration with Heather Austin. But I mean, come on. This would create such a gorgeous look. You could stick down here with the traditional pink and red and put transformation on the lid. You could even put life on the lid. You could do nymph here and blend it out with this more like mauvey shade and it's more cool tone now but you could totally do that this is just such a spectacular palette it is still available if you buy the collection i highly recommend it it is one of my favorites in my collection but i will say if you're like me and you have more sensitive eyes i cannot use these shades down here because they irritate my eyes and do make them water but i still love the palette even without those shades but if you're looking at it for those shades for a valentine's day look then i mean i just wanted to throw that out there just in case but these are all of my favorite valentine's day themed makeup you're gonna have to let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite eyeshadow palette for valentine's day is there one that you have in your collection that you immediately think of when we have this discussion that maybe I didn't name here. Maybe I'm missing out. You'll have to let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.